Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're coming into this video, you're probably just like me. It's starting to get cold out, you know snow is on the horizon, and you've been debating for the last two or three seasons, should I go ahead and invest in a snowblower or not? Me, for one, I enjoy the exercise of shoveling. However, over the years, I've started taking on more and more driveways of family members and friends who no longer have the ability to get out and do it themselves. So it was taking up a considerable amount of my time getting everybody's drive taken care of that any of my free time outside of work was starting to get eaten up a little bit too much. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. I got this here, Greenworks electric snowblower. Now this has a 13 amp motor. It advertises a clearing width of 20 inches or 50 centimeters. And it says that it can clear up to 10 inches or 25 centimeters of snow. Now here where I live, we don't get too many snows that deep. So this should be more than enough for what I need it for. But we actually have some snow in the upcoming forecast. So I better get this thing set up and assembled so I'm ready. So let's open up this thing and see what it looks like inside. So like I said, this is a 120 volt or 13 amp. It's electric. Uh, so you're gonna wanna buy a decent extension cord. I got a 100 footer just because, like I said, I do some other driveways that are not my own. I don't know where their outlet is. So I'm going to need a little bit longer just in case. So that's why I got that longer one. Just make sure you get one that's capable of handling the energy and the power needed to run this thing. So let's go ahead and put it together and see what it looks like. As you see, you turn this handle and it's gonna turn that for you so that you don't have to constantly be reaching and doing this. You can just keep on going. So anyway, there you have it. It was pretty easy assembly. Even with me fumbling through it, it took me 10 minutes. Now there's nothing left to do but to put this back in the garage, watch the forecast and wait for some snow. Okay, so long story short, we finally got a winter storm. It did not drop as much snow as we thought it would. The only thing it really dropped heavily is wind. And so the only places we have deep snow to test out our new machine is here where it drifted by other vehicles. And you can tell we have, you might be wondering why our snow is brown. It's because right behind our house, we just had a land developer put in a cul-de-sac. They're gonna put in some new neighborhoods back there. The wind was so intense, it stirred up all the dust and dirt. So now we have this really ugly brown snow. So instead of it looking like this, like I wanted this video to look, it now looks like this, where everything is brown. But anyways, I wanna get this up so that you guys can see how this handles. Even a little bit of snow, so. I'm gonna get this out. We're gonna see how it works. You can see I've moved the chute to throw it that way so it doesn't hit the camera, but it's so windy, who knows where it's gonna go. So you push down first, then pull up the handle. Learn from my mistakes. So press and hold, pull up the handle. There you go. So let's see how it goes. That is the white snow I wanted. Oh. 
anyways, that is not the full test I wanted to give it, but that was all the snow we got, so we had to roll with it. But overall, I thought it performed very well. If you live in most of the country where you only get a few decent sized snowfalls a year, I think it's a great product for you. If you live up in northern Canada or Buffalo, New York, where you're getting dumped on feet at a time, maybe not. But I have seen other videos where it does fairly well in deeper snow as well. It goes up to 10 inches, but if you got more than that, you do the first 10 inches, throw it away. As you move, that snow falls down, and then you can get it on a second run. So still a lot easier than doing it with a shovel. So I hope this video helped guide you on whether or not you wanted to get one for yourself. If you do, I have a link for the one that I bought in the description of this video. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so if you go ahead and buy it from there, I do get a little kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So I would really appreciate it if you decide to get it, if you went ahead and used that link. If not, no hard feelings, but I hope this has allowed you to have an educated answer and make an educated purchase for what works for you. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.